Okay, next we are going to see about the sixth table. So, sixth table is a very similar like a third table. So, what is the method we have followed? We have followed the grid method. The same method is going to be followed for the sixth table also. But what is the uh, uh, thing will be going to be very differ uh, comparing 3 and 6 means 3 is a smaller number. So, one grid is enough but 6 is a larger number. So, it will take a two grids. So, now we are going to draw the two grids. As usual, two sleeping line, two standing line, two standing line, two sleeping line. Okay, so as like you are a third table, you are going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Same here also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, as usual, the first is going to be filled with 0, 0, 0, 0. Next, you are going to fill with 1, 1, 1. Next, you are going to fill with 2, 2, 2. Next, you are going to fill with 3, 3, 3. Next, 4, 4, 4. Next, 5, 5, 5. So, what is here? There is will be a very different, isn't it? 1 into 6 is 6. But see here, the starting is a 3 means don't get confused. Next, we are going to section it. Section is meant we are going to take a center point here and you are going to draw a diamond. So, that meeting point is the going to be the perfect table. See here, 1 into 6 is 6. 2 into 6 is 12, 3 into 6 is 18, 4 into 6 is 24. As like here, I am going to make it center point. Here, 5 into 6 is 30. We are going to write it here. Next, 6 into 6 is 36, 7 into 6 is 42, 8 into 6 is 48, 9 into 6 is 54. Of course, 10 into 6 is 60. Okay, so this is the very easiest method to learn the sixth table because we already know how the grids were working. We can uh, we we already seen in the third table itself. Isn't it? We already seen in the third table itself how the grid method is uh, using it. So in this are the same method, same method we are using it, but only we are just taking the uh, the diagonal portion, the diamond portion alone. We just taking it and writing for a sixth table.